If you had one thing to say to the world about Somaliland, what would it be? Hey man, it's a great vacation. Come, like you see the ocean. There's great people here. There's not like bad people. We just, you know, we, we're not that bad. We don't have a lot of things like y'all do, but is it great, is man. it safe here? It's safe over here. It's not violent. Though. It's totally 100% safe. People's not gonna kill you. Nothing. It's nothing like that you see on TV. I'm standing with a white guy right now, man. <laughs> It's okay, man. It's calm. Y'all want to come and vacation everything. Man. So, Somalia. Somalia, one of the most dangerous places in the world. Pirates, right? In the failed state of Somalia, piracy has become a lucrative business. Western navies are hunting down Somali pirates in the Indian Ocean. Kidnapping. It is not a safe place. It is difficult to operate in and is becoming increasingly hazardous. And the worry is now with this kidnapping of an aid worker that that could hamper aid work in the country, which needs it so desperately. Extremists. Two Americans are among the at least 20 people killed in an attack at a hotel in Somalia. The terror group Al-Shabaab is claiming responsibility. What if I told you there was another country inside Somalia that is somewhat unknown to the outside world and doesn't have such horrific events? This is Somaliland. We're in a war zone. It is dangerous. There is a, you know, risk involved. M.A.M. And welcome back to the Gulf of Aden, sitting here on the Somaliland coast, uh, internationally recognized as Somalia, but it's the uh, autonomous region in the north of Somalia, called Somaliland, that's how all the locals know it. So right now I'm gonna head down, meet uh, my friend Khaled again, and going to also meet uh, a new driver and an SPU, which if you didn't see the last video, which is a special protection unit. It's basically a, a military guy with an AK-47 because it's required by law for all foreigners to be accompanied by one of these guys. So we are going to go with him um, to the beach and then we're gonna be driving further inland, kind of south east direction uh, to another big city. Let's head out there. We'll go to the beach of the Gulf of Aden across there. Just over there somewhere is Yemen on the other side of the Gulf. Hello. Uh, Nick, nice to meet you. Nick. Ahmed. Ahmed? Ahmed, yeah. Okay, nice to meet you. Okay, so we have arrived at the beach. And uh, it's pretty busy actually. Uh, guys going swimming and just having a good old time down at the beach. So as I was saying in the last video, this Berbera has extremely tight security. Uh, but this area apparently is okay for filming and stuff. If we were going to go into the more port area, where you know there's more kind of official immigration, this kind of thing, buildings around, it's really dangerous to take a camera because you never know what kind of trouble you can get yourself in. You actually have to ob obtain a permit to walk around with the camera there, but here it's a bit more liberal. So all these local guys are requesting photos and, and videos and everything and all loving to pose. It's amazing. Okay, so I just met a, a guy on the beach called Said. 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 And uh, you're local from. Berbera? Berbera. And you've, Berbera. you've traveled to the USA? Yeah, I've been to the USA, America. Where did you? We got 
Yeah. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. The security guard was just worried. You know, he has to keep an eye on us, and as soon as he saw us interacting, he came and checked. But it's all good. So yeah, where in America did you go? I've been to Ohio. Ohio. I love this. You like it? Yeah, man. I've been there for like 12 years. 12 years. Yeah. Wow. What were you doing there? Yeah, I just living there. Living. Yeah, but I just you know. Did you work there? I worked there. I went to school though. I went there like um, kindergarten to all the way to high school. Oh wow! So you grew up in America. I grew up in America. And what do you? And you've come back here to work or what? I came back here to live my life. You know, right. just being somebody like I came back to my homeland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I can't be away from you. Know? So you're a diaspora, right? That's what it's called. No. No. No diaspora, like what? Like that means that you you come back. Yeah, I got deported. Oh, really? From America? Yeah, I got deported from America. Why? I got deported from America. Why? Why did you get deported? Man, I was like, I was just them kids. I got deported back. Uh, was it? Were you like? Was it crime or? No, I was just being like Donald Trump. You, you didn't know? like Donald Trump. Nobody liked Donald Trump, but right. he's the president. He do what he got to do, you know. Oh, because you're from Somalia, so you got deported because yeah, Somalia deported. is yeah. on the blacklist. I didn't have no like uh, citizenship. I just had a, like a green card. And then he kicked you out. Yeah, he kicked me out. And was that sad for you? Or were yeah, you happy? I got separated from my family. That's what's sad for me. But now I'm back to my home country where I was born at, where I was raised at. You now my religion. Yeah. Over there, I was just losing religion. You know, I was just being out of sight. I was just closed eyes over there. Now I just open my eyes. You know, now I'm living a beautiful life. I got a family right now. I got a kid. Wow. That's a great thing. I just got. I just living my life right now, man. I don't even need any America right now. You know. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Thanks. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Do you think that you'll stay in Somaliland for the rest of your life? Yeah, till I die. Till you die. Yeah, till I die. So you're very happy to be here. I'm happy, man. Yeah. Like 100 happy. What What would you say the differences between? Somaliland and Ohio, what are the differences? There's a lot of difference. Because over there, you get a lot. You know, everything is fine, and it's freedom, you do what you all gotta do, and it's like, it's not like what you see right now. You see like streets, you don't see dust, you don't see no like, right, right. you don't see home that's broken, you, know? you see, you live in uh, apartments, like, you live in the buildings. Right. Over you live in like, you know, you've seen it. Yeah, yeah, so quality of life quality is better different. in Ohio. Yeah, it's way different, but 100%. What, so quality of life and, and like the streets and the infrastructure is better in Ohio. What is better in, in Somaliland? What do you prefer of Somaliland to US? Because what's better in Somaliland yeah. is that I come to my like, religion, I come close to God, I'm like seeing better things. You're a I Muslim, right? I'm a Muslim. Yeah, yeah. Before, I didn't know what I, I, I consider myself Muslim, but I wasn't doing what I had to do. Muslim had to do. Uh -huh. yeah. Pray five times a day. Uh, what you mean? Like, be a, a good guy, uh, help people out, help the poor, everything. But over there, I was just a violent kid that didn't give a, nothing. A violent kid. A violent kid okay. that didn't care. Like, I don't care, man. I don't want to be that. Right, right. That's what I was. If you had one thing to say to the world about Somaliland, what would it be? Hey man, it's a great vacation. You come, like you see the ocean. There's great people here. There's not like bad people. We just, you know, we, we, we're not that bad. We don't have a lot of things like y'all do, but is it great, is man. it safe here? It's safe over here. It's not violent. Though. It's totally 100% safe. People's not gonna kill you. Nothing. It's nothing like that you see on TV. It's, it's a great people, man. It, I'm standing with a white guy right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, man. It's come. Y'all wanna come and vacation everything. Man. Right, right, and and so this is the uh, Gulf of Aden, and there are pirates down there, right? Way, way, way. Way down there, probably. But here, no pirates. No pirates over here, man. Because it's just muddy the ocean, probably. I think right. muddy the ocean. Not okay. right here, no pirates, man. Many just that consider people. Many people in the world would automatically say Somalia pirates, right? That's yeah, what they, the world thinks. They made a movie about that. Yeah, yeah. Pirate, the movie they made about that. But, but the pirates like, are in a different area. They're in a different. They they in the middle of the ocean. Like they're not in Berbera right now. Yeah. Nobody. Or Somalia, I don't know, man. I didn't see no pirates, no nothing, no violence. Since I've been here, I've been here like for three years right now. Wow. I didn't see no violence. I didn't see here no people being killed, no people. Visiting people, visiting people, visiting people never got killed. They just people, good people, man. Just come if y'all want to visit. We will welcome you guys awesome, with open man. heart. You're a great ambassador for your country. Thank, Thank you. you. Came about the woman, man, with everything that you demand. You could say I had a plan way before I had a fan. Some would probably call it luck. I just call it being blessed. You ain't never did the work, but you wanna be the best. Lately, I can never stress. Never better, better yet. Might have had a thing for you. She know I'm the better bet. I digress, I let it rest. Go and get another check. 
I could always see my future. I bet they could never guess. Guessing they get it. Said, ciao. Nice to meet you. Bye bye. So now we're on the way to a mountain range called Porta Sche. All right, and. Uh, should be some nice views of the mountains. It's super hot though right now, sweating absolute bullets. Um, super humid. I think the humidity is more the thing that stands out here. But uh, yeah, so about half an hour drive. Got a checkpoint to go through, so I'll have to get in the back and the SPU will have to get in the front to get through there to attract less attention. That's the ultimate goal here, is to attract the least amount of attention as possible. We just stopped in the desert. It's quite windy, but we're gonna get some fresh guava here. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> it's quite nice, but I think it needs longer to ripen. Yeah, it's a bit hard. Mm, but it's still nice. And so a big bag of this and oranges, was it? Yeah, oranges, yeah. Was six dollars. Which I think is quite expensive for um, a, 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 a side stall in oh, Africa, you know? Six dollars. Six dollars. It's, it's pretty heavy. It's like at least five kilos. Six, it's probably like a dollar a kilo or something like that. Right, right. Because it's pretty heavy. So it's roughly probably uh, a one one dollar a kilo probably of oh, like right, no. mixture of stuff. So just come to the top of this mountain range. It's super windy. We're gonna go over and, and climb this peak. I'll show you in a second. But I just want to show you something quite interesting. So this is an Islamic school down here, and you can see the girls and the boys separated. Nice school day out. Friendly kids all came up and said hi when we arrived before. But we're gonna we're gonna head up this mountain here. So there's actually little, uh, I'm not sure if they're houses or shelters, but we saw a baby come out of one and they've got goats and things. I think they might sleep here sometimes. Super windy, but that's another house there. It's quite extreme in flip-flops, but it's gonna be worth it, I think. Bad view. How do you like it? Never done it, bro. I've never come up here. This is amazing. From sea to from beach to mountains in like half an hour, you get this beautiful walk of Somalia, and that's what it's about. <laughs> nice man. And you said these old roads that you can kind of bank oh. out in the distance used to be the road to get over these ranges, right? Yeah. So back in the days, you know, my father used to go to Sheikh School, which is like one of the elite schools back in the days. Still is. So those are the kind of roads. If you see, not even paved. But it's really windy even. Like, yeah. And that would have taken like hours longer. Right? Hours longer, exactly, yeah. So they cut through, made a better road, more straighter a bit, yeah. And your dad would go over these roads every day? Every day on top of the big trucks that you see. A lot of people on the top, because they would deliver stuff as well. Because of course there maybe weren't too many shops up there back in the days. So yeah, it was, uh, he would sit on top. Wow. Adventure, he lived the adventure. On top with the goats. <laughs> Probably, you know, I'm not even gonna deny it, probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the goats are at the bottom, actually. They, oh, they had the safer seat. <laughs> the goats had first class, and yeah. they had to sit on the roof.
welcome to my hotel room. We've driven through the desert there for another hour or so and arrived in the second biggest city in Somaliland, uh, which is, I think, Boro, something like that. Soon we're gonna head into the city, have a look around, probably grab some food and things. It's been an action-packed morning so far through the desert. I'll give you a little tour of the, the hotel. Here we've got the double bed mosquito net. I've noticed mosquitoes already, so definitely gonna be using that. Wi-Fi works pretty good. Bathroom. Pretty basic. It's costing, I think, $40 or so, around that, a night. And uh, so yeah, it's, it's not too bad for this area. And some random little kitchen thing. Big air conditioner there, which is nice. Breakfast included, so yeah, it's actually, you know, pretty good value for money. It's quite spacious. Right, so we're just coming to the city center and uh, it's pretty chaotic, uh, super hectic, lots going on. There's people packed into cars, having parties, music, everybody's staring obviously. Check out the scene. So now we're gonna go try and find, find a barber shop because I really wanna um, get a Somali trim on my beard here, so. You got me the brand new. Thank you. Just here. Line. Okay. Line. Yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Uh -huh. Alright, so uh, he's all finished. He did a really nice job. Really took a lot of care and spent a lot of time on it. I'm just gonna ask him if he's ever cut a foreigner's hair before. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mind, man. I don't. You do. You do. You cut before? Oh, I think, I think he has. Who, what, what nationality? <laughs> One of these. <laughs> he just looks yeah. like a, a white man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. We all look the same. Nice to meet you. Are you happy? Where's my Very happy. Yes. Where are from? New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah, I'm from French. You're French? Yes. Oh wow. Bonjour. So it cost three dollars. I gave him five so that he could keep the change because he spent so long like and put so much care into it. And this place is obviously very popular, like there's line all the way out. Manchester. From Manchester. Cal is just making some mates. <laughs> is it dinner time? It's dinner time. All right. We are going to go. I'm hungry. Right. So I just want to take a second out and say a huge thank you to Skillshare again for sponsoring the videos. Today I want to promote one of their classes, how to vlog. I know a lot of you guys in the comment section are always asking about vlogging and uh, this is a great course by Sarah teaching you guys how to vlog, the ins and outs, how to get started if you want to do it professionally or just as a hobby. If you don't know what Skillshare Skillshare is. Skillshare is an online learning community with literally thousands and thousands of classes ranging from anything to do with creativity, business, graphic design, filming, editing, basically anything if you want to kind of kickstart your career online and beyond. So a wonderful resource. I've used their classes in the past for Photoshop and learning new skills. And if you click the link below, uh, you can get two months free on Skillshare Premium. And then the following months, I believe costs around $10 per month. So really valuable asset to have. And another huge thank you to Skillshare for keeping these travels going. Back at the hotel. Just got back from a really cool rooftop restaurant. Uh, we got heaps of food and uh, really nice locals had a look in the kitchen there. <laughs> but 
I want to share with you something that's pretty funny. All that food there for three people with sides and water and everything. 13 US dollars for all that food for three people and we didn't even finish it all because there was so much. I gave him a $20 note and when you're paying dollars here then you'll get back change in shillings. This is $7 change in Somaliland shillings. So <laughs> this must be, it, be around 80 or 90,000 shillings and it's just so much just this paper money. It's absolutely mad. I'll be looking forward to playing Monopoly with that later. <laughs> it's a very special day, going to the beach, driving through the desert on that mountaintop, and then coming here to the second biggest city in Somaliland and topping it all off with that dinner. Beautiful. In the next video, we're going to be driving across the desert, hopefully stopping at some really small settlements and trying to interact with the locals. We'll see how it goes. I think there's going to be a lot of checkpoints as well, so hopefully that works out. Then we've got some other fun stuff planned, but I'll save that for the next video. In case I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night.